Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to share with you something that I wish was built into Pro Tools without workarounds, but there are ways to do it. And it's basically making track presets or track templates and having them import on a track. So first I'm gonna show you it in action, an actual session on what I already made. And afterwards, I will show you actually how to create it. So let's get right to it. If you do Shift Command N, bring up the new tracks and have you know tracks come up here, but instead of just seeing audio track or aux input, you can actually get folders and in the folders actually open specific tracks you already have made, such as you know stuff like this where I have some plugins on there, some sends, and have it show up exactly like that in, in any session you're in. So for instance, let's just try one real quick that I have set up. And let's actually go to mix and in mix, I have a whole mix template with like 30 tracks, like aux tracks and parallel tracks. And once I hit create, it essentially goes through, it's a lot of tracks, so it might take a sec and I'll probably speed this up here. But what it does is it essentially imports them all to your track with all the settings and all the levels and all the sends exactly how you want to start out, um, which I find useful for a lot of things. But this is basically hacking the Pro Tools folders in a way that you can have that, that track dialog up and actually do it right from there, which is kind of cool. So as you can see, when I click that one thing, all the highlighted tracks were the ones that were imported with that one click, which is essentially like a starting mix template for me with like effects and some starting points and plugins and so on. So let's actually get rid of all, all these guys. Great. Now let's actually check out how to do this. So, th so before I'm gonna show you, let's actually go into our documents folder on a Mac. And I'm not quite sure it would be on a PC, but I'm guessing in a similar spot. And you're gonna locate in documents, your Pro Tools folder. And all we're gonna do is hit Shift Command N to make a new folder and name it what you want. I name mine track presets, as you can see here. And in this folder, you're gonna make subfolders. So like, you know, have one be like effects, one be audio effects, one be like uh, synths. So I have one set up called track presets and I made a bunch of folders here and I've been using this for years. So let's actually mess with actually how to save it. So once you have this set up, you have your little subfolders. It could just be one inside the track presets, like, you know, mix stuff or synths. So we're gonna close that out. And now if now whatever track you want selected in Pro Tools to be that one, whether it's one preset or you want multiple tracks to be imported with one click, let's actually do one by one as if it was like one track preset, meaning all the stuff with the Slate VMR, Kick 2, some uh, drum compression and Excite, which essentially is all connected to my mix bus, which is not shown now. So you're gonna select the track you want. Then you're gonna go to file. Then you're gonna go to export selected tracks as new session. Ignore everything else here, hit selected tracks only, hit okay. As you can see, it's in track presets and we're gonna set it to VIs, which is a new folder I just made today. And we're gonna name this kick create, which is, you know, the kick two is a plugin where you can kind of make your own kick sounds. So I'll leave out that so I know what it is and then we'll hit save. And now the second step is you actually gotta go back into that folder where it's VI right here and you see how it says PTX. All you have to do is add it, you know, kind of edit this, double click it, and then add a T at the end, which basically switches it to a template file as you'll see this icon change. And they're asking me if, if I want to change the extension. Yes, I do. And now you'll see it's a template file. So which lets Pro Tools see it in this certain location in the documents and lets it import the data, which is exactly what it's doing. So now let's close this out. Let's do Shift Command N. Let's do a stereo track. Let's do a stereo track. Let's do this under VIs. And now under VIs, you'll see there's only one option because I didn't save any other things in that folder. Hit create. And this new track just came in with all the plugins and the sends I had set up on that preset. So again, shift command N and once everything's set up, just you're gonna go, you know, whatever you want and then scroll down. Here's your typical ones you always see, but without the setup, you're not gonna see this bottom stuff, whichever subfolders you made with the preset hacks in a way. So it's super easy and let's do, let's do one more. And of course you can do single tracks or multiple tracks, you know, as many tracks are in your sessions. So I'm actually gonna get rid of the one I just made. Let's actually do a send preset. So like if I hit one button, it'll be like a combo. It'll import all these five tracks, say as like a starting port of a song or otherwise. Or if you're writing in a song and just wanna import these kind of tracks to, to mess with some synths without having to go into each insert and kind of inserting it that way which is fine as well if you like that. So we're gonna select all the tracks we want. Again, we're gonna to go to file and we are gonna to go to export, selected tracks as new session. And it'll be all these tracks. We're gonna hit okay. And just to remind you where we are, we're in track presets, which is documents, pro tools, and the track presets, which is the folder that you make. 
And under this, it'll be under VIs, which is virtual instruments. And I'm going to label this synth starting, as in synth starting point. So we're going to hit save. And now the second step to get this to work is all we're going to do is actually after we're going to click it. And after the X, we're going to insert a T for template. Yes, I want to use PTXT. And that is good to go. Now that's all you need to do to set it. Once that's done, it's set forever. Like you're, you're never going to have to like set that again, unless you want to update or add new ones. It's worth spending time to really make a bunch of these kind of things. So now let's do Shift Command N and let's go to the eyes. As you can see, if I, if I click over here, before it only had kick create, but now when I go down one, it has a synth starting point, which I just added. So let's click that and hit create. It's loading them up. And as you can see, I have those same tracks here with all the same settings, all the sends, everything, even the levels. So it's kind of a nice thing, you know, if you if you want to do a uh, little presets. And now, of course, this isn't the only way to import data, but it's nice being able to do it from a new track. It's like less clicks. But you can also do Shift Option I to import track data from any song or any kind of uh, template, which I have here. So when I do like uh, mix templates and stuff or band templates, a lot of times I actually do it this way for stuff that I don't have added to that kind of preset hack. So I have one for like band tracking. I have like a drum mix stuff with some drum samples already like routed how I like it um, and stuff like that. And it's, it's super convenient. So just showing you that it exists. So in short, we essentially went into documents, into Pro Tools, and we made a new folder called Track Presets. In that, we added subfolders, labeled them how we wanted, and then we saved our Pro Tools sessions to that, and then we just changed the extension, and we added a T at the end for template, which enables it, if it's in this folder, to show up when we hit Shift-Command-N, and you go down here and select whatever subfolder, hit OK. And again, this works for single tracks, multiple tracks, and whatever type of track you want. So thanks for watching. And as always, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments, hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed.